Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Sunny and I'm a software engineer. In this video, today I'll show you how you can prepare for your next technical interview with ChatGPT. And this interview could be a technical interview or a behavioral interview based upon the roles which you have applied. Many a times it happens that you may be preparing for some interview, right? And let's say just before your interview, you want to have some sort of mock interview, right? You want to practice for your interview because most of the time we feel little nervous just before the interview right if you are giving interviews for the very first time or let's say you you don't have much experience giving interviews what happens is we kind of look for some practice right where uh, we we kind of looks for someone who can uh, take a mock interview for us just before the interview so, so that we can feel confident in the real interview right so today i'll show you how you can use chat gpt as your mock interviewer so that you can practice your interview just before you appear for your real interview so without any further ado let's start with this video so for that i'll go to the chat gpt website so here if you see i'm on the site chat.openai.com so if even if you just search for chat gpt on the google you will get this website and you can simply sign up if you haven't signed up yet and you can simply sign in on this chat gpt website and this is the home page you will see on the left side you will see the older conversation and then uh, here at the center you have few uh, description about the chat gpt how this can help you like what are the examples uh, how you can use it then the capabilities of the chat gpt and then the limitations of the chat gpt i'm sure that you must have heard about chat gpt till now today i'll show you how you can use chat gpt for your interview preparation so let's start for this video i'll set up this mock interview for a software engineer role you may uh, ask chat gpt accordingly let's say uh, if i want myself to practice for a role of software engineer then i can basically uh, set this expectation with chat gpt that i want to get interviewed for a role of software engineer and then i can also uh, uh, ask chat gpt to ask me question on certain topics it could be it could be as simple as data structures right so we know like for a software engineer role data structure is one of the important aspect which is being asked in the interview right so simply what can i do is i can simply set up this uh, context with the chat gpt so that chat gpt can ask me questions on data structures you could also instruct chat gpt to ask questions on certain topics and even if you want to prepare for any specific topic so let's say even in data structure if i want to prepare for let's say tree or graph data structure i can simply uh, set up this context with chat gpt so that it can ask me only uh, tree or graph related questions and then accordingly i can uh, practice those okay so that is the brief idea like i'll just set up the uh, context with chat gpt and then we'll start off with this uh, mock interview process right so what i'll do first is i'll first like this is the uh, fresh new conversation i'm going to start with chat gpt so here i'll simply have to uh, give some context what i want from chat gpt and then we'll start with the interview so initially what i'm going to write here is i'll just say that i want to prepare for my technical interview for a let's say software engineer role and then i want you to ask like i want chat gpt to ask questions on data structures okay so this is what i am going to start with so i'll just put this prompt on this uh, space and then we'll see how chat gpt respond to it so here what i have written i have written that i want to prepare for my next technical interview please help me with the mock interview ask me questions from data structure one by one so what i want is that uh, basically chat gpt will act as an interviewer and then it will ask me questions one by one so that like after every question i should be typing out the answers uh, and then uh, chat gpt will ask me another question okay and we'll also see how chat gpt take the answers from us let's say we we type in some answer and then we'll see what is the response from chat gpt and then we'll see how this conversation goes right so the idea is to have a mock interview right so let me just set up this so i put enter let's see what it says okay so it says sure i would be happy to help you with a mock interview here is the question to start so the first question here is what is a stack and how it is implemented so before jumping to the answer let me first tell you that this is with the context of a software engineer role and 
specifically data structures okay you can also ask chat gpt to ask questions on different subjects let's say dbms or oas or networking you can ask anything similarly you can ask for a mock interview for a different role it could be it, it could be a business analyst role or it could be a lead technical engineer role anything like it could be a architecture role so anything like for any role you can ask chat gpt to uh, to ask questions okay so let's proceed with this uh, interview i'll simply so for now i'll not go into the details i'll just add a one liner answers for now just for the sake of uh, keeping this video short but yeah you can put your answers as uh, you know so basically you are preparing for your interview right so you will be basically writing all your answers like whatever you will be explaining in the real interview so here i'll simply write that stack is a leaf four data structure and it can be implemented using an array i'll just put a simple answer so here if you see i just added a one liner answer i am saying that stack is a leaf four data structure last in first out data structure and it can be implemented using an array let's not think about if if chat gpt will be able to understand leaf four or not you can also uh, prefer writing the entire thing last in first out thing but i'll i'll just go with the uh, sorter form because i am well aware that this tool is trained well so let's see what is the response it is giving me back okay it accepts the answer and it gives me a second question how does stack handle overflow and underflow condition so i'll say uh, so i'll just put a simple answer that uh, stack overflow can be handled by checking if top is equal to equal to uh, length of the stack minus 1 and for underflow i'll simply check if stack is equal to equal to minus 1 okay So yeah, it is able to identify if the answer is correct or not. So it says correct. The next question is this. So the next question is what is a queue and how is it implemented? As we know, right, queue is a uh, first in first out data structure. So here I say queue is a uh, data structure can be implemented using array. So here I say okay so it says that a queue can be implemented using array linked list or pointers it is usually implemented using pointers in c and c plus plus okay so let's let's try to put wrong answer and see okay so the next question is what is a linked list and what are the different types of linked list so i'll say linked list is a static data structure so what i wrote here is linked list is a static data structure which is not correct basically you can have uh, you can basically add new nodes and it it can be a of dynamic size but let's see what uh, chat gpt respond with is it's a linear collection of data elements whose order is not given by their physical replacement in the memory instead each element points to the next and also it gives me the different types of uh, linked list available and then it also explains uh, each of them in a one liner so from this conversation what we are getting is basically like whenever we are putting some correct answer chat gpt is able to identify it and then letting us know that the answer is correct and it is able to ask me the next question but in case where we are putting an answer which is kind of not the expected answer uh, from the chat gpt then what it is doing is it is basically giving you the entire details of the answer right like what is the probable answer and then it also has its explanation right so yeah i found this pretty interesting and helpful for those who are preparing for their interviews alone and they don't have any friends uh, like who from with whom they can practice their interviews so yeah chat gpt is a nice option to have and then uh, as i mentioned that you can ask chat gpt to basically take your mock interviews so yeah chat gpt is a nice option to prepare for your next interview so i hope you got the message i'm trying to convey that how you can uh, use chat gpt for your benefits so i hope you may have learned something from this video and i'm sure that you are going to use chat gpt in very many different ways so keep exploring so yeah this is the second video on the chat gpt series i have already made a video where i have explained how you can increase your productivity as a coder or a software developer and how you can take basically chat gpt helps to write your code right so if you haven't watched that video do watch it from the i button or from the link in the description and if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss my next video on chat gpt so till then take care i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching